this entire video is going to be stuff that requires New Game Plus to do, basically, so of course it's going to contain spoilers. Uh, the instant I exit out of this menu, you're going to start seeing them, so I'm going to go in order of doing all the new 1.4.0 bards first and then the Telos Blade quest. So if you're just here for the guide, just stick around for this and you can leave early, but if you want to see the quest too, skip ahead a few minutes because the finding the bard shouldn't take too long. Because I already know where they are. Anyway. Hello everyone, I'm Luxon, and today, this is sort of a one-off, actively playing Xenoblade 2 thing, you know, my usual videos on it are scripted and more longer form stuff, but I'm just gonna do a quick guide showing where you can find all the new bards that were added in 1.4.0, because none of them are actually in any sort of settlements, which is interesting. As well as, I'm just gonna do Telos's new Blade Quest blind, I did the Poppy Buster one on stream, and there's one for Telos too, so I'm going to do that. Believe it or not, there are seven bards as opposed to the five from last time. The last, uh, there were, there was an Argentum one, a Toragoth one, a Fonsamima one, an Alba Cavendish one, and a uh, Theoswar one. But there are seven this time, and there's one in Elpis, two in both Morithas, and, one, and two in the World Tree. So, starting off... Elpis one is actually the easiest one to get to, because if you just warp to the Spear of Crucible entrance here, and wait for the loading screen to finish, Let's rest and spell. go a little bit further, we have places to be. you should be able to see him right here. It's actually the closest to any skip travel point, I think. And this is the first of the new traveling bars. All of them are going to be Nopon. So this guy, he can he sells an elemental light core for Poppy for a million bonus EXP, which I already have in a light core, so I'm not going to take that. And also, most of that EXP is what I need to get Rex back to level 99, because he the my characters are at level 44 right now, all of them are. So I'm kind of screwed if I like actually have to run away from enemies when I'm doing this. So I'm going to try to cheese around things as much as possible. The next one is actually even easier. This one's the closest one to a skip travel point. I was very mistaken earlier. Cliffs of Morotha Inlet. If you warp straight here? there, there will be a traveling bard who I think will be there um, if you start a new game plus or a new game plus plus before or in 1.4. He should be there the instant you get here to the Cliffs of Morotha. So, this one will sell the Master Ether mod for 500,000 bonus EXP. And the second one up here is actually at a pretty interesting place. Uh, if you go to the lower level, you'll see that he's there. Now, warping here isn't actually the best option because it's actually on top of the wall there that you need to go on. So, it's actually better to head to the way of the practitioner first. Because... Uh, stop talking. We have from there, you can drop down to here. That's a level 49. Oh. That's bad. That might see me. From here, and there you can see the bard on top of the wall. So, even if you have already opened up the door here, you do need to do that to go see the bard. So, this one will sell the Master Luck Mod for 500,000 bonus EXP. And I hope you're already starting to see a trend here. So we got the seven rarest poppy parts, basically. All the Master Mods and the Light Core. So, this one's probably the hardest one to get to, actually. The first one in the Land of Mortha. Because it's located on a secret area. Now, that's normally not a big deal. You just go to the secret area. I don't know who's heart to heart. This is off the top of my head, and I'm not going to go for it. Uh, this one has Master Muscle Mod. Well, you might notice we're on top of here. And to get here, you need two of the relatively larger field skill checks in the game. So you got this airflow, which is Great Earth Mastery 8, Leaping 5, and as you can see, I don't have enough to do that on me right now. But in order to get to here, you also need to knock down this thing, and I just killed myself. But you need to knock down that street sign up there too, which is Earth Mastery 8, Super Strength 5. So you need 8 Earth Mastery, 5 Super Strength, and 5 Leaping to get there. Although, granted, if you're on New Game Plus, that shouldn't be too difficult. Anyway, if you head to the World Tree, there's actually another Traveling Bard located. I I know where they are, I just forgot 
how close. I'm thinking that the first Cliffs of Morth one is technically the closest to skip travel point. So, there's one here, right at the entrance of the World Tree. Who will give you the Master Strike mod for another 500,000? And this is actually just a very good New Game Plus stopping point in general, because right up ahead of you is where Mikhail will show up if you release him, or just to recruit him in the first place. Moving on to the World Tree, though. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, number two, Mizar, lower deck, is where you'll find the first one here. And, again, another one right next to a skip travel point. I'm just proving myself very wrong in multiple ways. A lot of them are close to skip travel points, thankfully. So, this one will give you a Master Tank mod for another 500,000 BEXP. And, wait, did that one just say something about rustling jimmies? Hold on a minute. If you say no to him... Finally meet friends, come bearing boon for friends, assuming that friends feeling not so hot at Tiger Tiger. Uh, okay, if I say no. Friends not want to talk? Come all this way for nothing, that ru re that rustle my jimmies, so it do. I'm going to screenshot that one and tweet it out later. Anyway. Then I'll head to the mid-level, I think. Yeah, mid-level, there we go. This one is the furthest from any skip travel points, actually. So it's best, I think, to go to Mizar Elevator 5. And move from there. Let us go. Okay, no it isn't. This one is easily the most difficult to get to. So if I do that... Well, first off, there's a level 65 Sovereigns here. Also, okay, that was Dromark. I thought that was a Common Blade. Because I know I think I still have a couple Common Blades on Zeke right now. Just for luck farming and stuff. Because if I go up here, that'll take me to a different level, right? 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 Okay, it's not a different map, but... Let's see. How many enemies do I have to get past to do this? I might have to go the long way around. Just to avoid getting aggroed by anything that'll one-shot me. Although I did kill that unique monster in there already. Run faster, Rex. Please run faster, Rex. Please run faster, Rex. Okay, thank you, Rex. Anyway. Let's get up there, which... Honestly, I could have picked a better way to get there. Hopefully I can get uh, up there. It's just a little bit of wind mastery and leaping. Because I have a bunch of leaping. Because I think I have Finch equipped to someone. Come, winds. Okay, it's Wind just... Do you have Poppy and Rock? I guess. You can also, alternatively... Oh get there from below, which is probably slightly easier. So, you could do that too if you really want to, but... Or get there from above, sorry. If you go down from above, it's probably slightly quicker, but you have to go past a few more enemies, so if you're... If you don't have the bonus CX... Well, yeah, if you don't want to level yourself up all the way, it's probably easy to go up from the... From where I did. But... This guy will give you the Master Evasion mod for another 500,000 BEXP. Okay. So, that's all the new traveling bards. I'm not going to show off where the 1.3 ones are, because I'm sure there are already guides for that. And they're all in towns and stuff, so they're easy to find. So, if you were just here wanting to know where those bards are, that's that. But stick around, and I'm also going to be doing Telus's Blade Quest. Okay, as you can see, I don't have Telus' affinity chart all the way full, even up to the four rungs I've got, mostly because I don't feel like jumping another 1,700 times, salvaging a bunch of times, and the rest of this stuff is kill specific enemies and stuff, or spam her specials, but that's not what we're here for. What we are here for is the level 5 key affinity reward. All of these are trust only, so it's... Actually, not too bad trust-wise. This one's 5,000, and then after that, you immediately get the quest, basically. But to unlock the level 5, it says, Go to Elethra Ruins and complete the quest Lingering Resentment. So, here we are at the Elethra Ruins. I don't see anything that can start a quest up here, at the very least. Although, I am gonna... Come on by and grab this legendary core crystal up here, if I haven't gotten it already. Haven't? Nice. Actually, this requires lockpicking. Actually, I have... I think... I don't have Rock, but I have Korra, um, Cosmos, and Pandoria. 
in the team, so that wasn't too big a deal. I know I do have all the rare, uh, the RNG blades, but it's still worth holding on to for commons and stuff. And, of course, if the any of the new blades they release are also gotcha-y. But, first off, it looks like we need to find someone to give us this quest, and it looks like it's these people. Because these are the only NPCs in the Aletheria Ruins I've even seen. You are Indoline Warmonks. That's interesting. So what is this? Survivors of Indol getting destroyed. The Driver of the Aegis and the Flamebringer. Um. Okay, so I've already killed Malthus in this file. That's interesting. They don't they, they don't seem to realize they it said something about a praetor given opportunity. First off, that means a mouth has somehow convinced an entire race of people to worship him. Uh second off, these guys are going to murder me cuz I'm not level 62. Uh third off, it's fine. We'll get I don't even know what third off was going to be. Okay. Well, uh I'm going to just just uh Go heal myself up there for a second. Not heal myself up. Level myself up. I'm going to probably put myself to level 65 just in case. Alright, I actually just put the main three here that I'm using of Rex Morag and Nia to level 65. I kept Tora and Zeke at a lower level so they get more bonus EXP from it. But it's time to kill these Indoline Schemes. Which is an interesting name. And, yeah, you're getting completely chewed up. Probably because I have a Moon Matter ship on Telos right now. I did block that one. Alright. Looks like I won't even need to, like, actually swap to Mithra to do Mithra's spinny spinny thing. Alright, let's see. Yeah, you guys are getting pretty destroyed pretty quickly. You know what? Just for the memes. I don't actually have any... I don't have rock. So I couldn't smash them if I wanted to, but sure, let's topple them. Hopefully that wasn't the only fight in this quest, because that was pretty easy. Um, so we just murdered three people. And... We need to find the survivors. The other survivors. Okay, they're not dead. She's just gonna torture them. That's fine. Uh, I got a reward. I got a, a an award for something. All who stand in my way shall receive no mercy. All right. Now I need to. Are uh, these all? Yep. These are all spam her specials. So that's gonna be fun. Let's see. Yeah, I'm sure some people would love to be in this monk's position right now. Um, alright, so that one didn't talk. Am I going to need, like, some field skill for this? Because all I have are rare blades right now. I released most of my commons. Or is it just the third one will suffice? Gathering in the Chansa Wastes. Okay, so they, they say they'll do a mouth as proud, so I guess they do know he's dead. Since you need to you need to have beaten the final boss to get this, so I guess Telos is technically in canon with something. I don't know. It's not really canon. It, it could be in canon with New Game Plus. Or something. Anyway. I'm glad that we just can go straight to the Chansa Wastes and not like have to do a Merc mission for it, like I was kind of expecting to end up having to do. Which is good, because it's that's just a pain having to do that. That's the wrong level. Where where are they? Oh, that was the right level. It is the lower level. What am I talking about? Yeah, those are the Chansaw Wastes. Um, it's actually probably faster if I go to the factory. And walk my way out, because I don't have any of the landmarks there. I just completely cheesed it. I don't even remember how I did it. Cause I, I wanted to, I was basically at the speed run to more. Th Thank you, Dromark. 
I had to speedrun to Morotha to do something. I don't remember what. Uh, probably something. It was something for a video. I think it was the um, connections between X and 2. I didn't want my other file where I was going slower to go to Morotha. So I just took my New Game Plus file, gave up on doing the Akos versus Akos video I wanted to do, and sped ran all the way to Morotha to do that. But where is this place? It's an up. That's bad. That means that I can't go from here to there. Can I? There are ladders. Now there's a way around. Okay. Slightly worried for a second. In case you can't tell, it's been a while since I've been to, like, this half of Mor Ardain. Yeah, I'm still not going to pick a fight with those guys. I actually leveled up from that. Oh, hello. That is a titan. That is bad. Although, if that's the rest of the survivors, only seven people got away. Um, and... Saves the effort of chasing the Aegis down. I guess they know what Rex looks like, so they're like... Even though the Aegis is now... I, I guess she would be out if I had Telos on someone who wasn't Rex. Anyway, are we going to have to fight the Titan as well? I'd assume it's just another three of those guys. Indicative Levalian. Two Indoline Avengers and an Indoline Falchion. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. In the worst case, I could just go back to Spinny Spinny Mithra. Although. Oh! You have a taunt, don't you? And you're the one attacking me, and Morag's shackled. Which is bad. Advance fire. But then again, Nia has, like, two different healing blades on at the same time, so it's, I don't know. I don't know, Vindicative Levalion's down. So I'm just... Okay, a level one will just completely kill any of these guys. Sure, we'll topple this guy for zero reason whatsoever. But Nia, if you could launch, that would be nice. In case you're wondering, I only have Anchor Shot with my Spinny Spinny Mithra. Um, because this is just a modified version of the build I, using, I used for smashing the Ardun. So, speaking of strong enemies, you're actually taking a lot of damage, surprisingly. Although that did like a third of your HP. Okay. Uh, Alright, got a taunt. No big deal, especially because there's nothing else to attack me right now. Okay. Get another use of the level 1 out. Your broken left charge. Yeah. You're not going to last long enough for me to even get another level 1 out. Okay. I like this. I like this very much. Anyway. Oh, there's more stuff. Praise to... They really worship him at this. Okay. So what do we got this time? Is this entire quest just going to be beating up in the line enemies that you can find on the world tree. Um, a bedeviled Vassail, two in the line Ganals, and just another in the line Avenger. I lost Rex because I was spending too much time looking at the enemies. That's kind of pathetic on my part. Like, no one's taking a significant amount of damage. Morag's been taking hits from everything. And she, like, only just got down to half HP before she was healed. So, but Devil Vassail does have a healing art on him. Which isn't gonna help at all. Alright. You're dead. 
and these two titans shouldn't be too difficult either. Except for the part where Morag almost died, but we don't talk about that. I got toppled out of my second hit of the art, so I couldn't get the recover. Does not matter in the slightest, though. Morag died, okay. I'm toppled, okay, again. This doesn't worry me in the slightest, because, again, worst case... I, okay, that was bad. Worst case, I swapped to Mithra and had zero trouble with anything. Might honestly actually have to do that, but... Then again, I have a 48% crit rate on Telos right now. All I... Really, it's just the topples being annoying than anything. But... Now there goes one. And I'm already aggroing the other just from one hit, so I think I think we're doing a pretty good job here. Except for the part where I'm getting toppled out of my art, so I can't cancel into the level one. Alright. It's only a matter of time now. Only a matter of keep getting toppled now. I should have put topple resist ox cores. If I, if I knew this was going to happen, I would have definitely gone with the topple resist. But it doesn't matter. We're done here. Alright, is this voiced? Um... It is. These blighters just don't know when to quit, do they? Tell us what. Come, I'll put you out of your misery. I was wondering if they do the boob cannon thing. Also, if you can see on their visor, Telos RE is actually Telos Refrain and not like remake or remaster or whatever I thought it was. So that's probably the same for Cosmos too. That guy's an idiot. How did he survive that? He's definitely still breathing. Miserable weaklings. Did you think you'd be a match for me? Whoa. Ruthless as always, I see. Tell us! You all right? Completely. Thanks for that. That would have taken a lot longer without you, Tell us. Oh, it wouldn't have. Mythor could have probably done it even faster. Off. Your concern is pointless. Battle is what blades are born for. No need to waste your worries on me. Even if it sometimes seems like that's what you drivers are born for. No. Look. So what? Showing concern for our friends is useless? Is that what you're saying? Keep talking, I'll stomp you. Just like I did that last maggot. Freaky. Oh, I give up. You really are something else, Talos. Don't think I've ever seen a blade like you. At least, there is no doubting her prowess. Her assistance has proven invaluable. You're right. She's good to have around. We'll keep counting on you. All right, tell us. 
<laughs> I'm sure she'll warm to us eventually. Is that it? It isn't it. Okay. It'd be better if you worked with us a bit more. Um, yeah, I was just using Master Driver to put her on Rex. I, I pulled her on Zeke, as you could see in the stream. But it looks like that's the entire quest, is it? Uh, right, I forgot. I knew there was something like this. If you have Cosmos at all, she doesn't have to be resonated to any, or like actually in the active party. She'll show up and there will be this extra exchange for the double Xenosaga references. Although, do they reference knowing each other? Um, if we encounter a similar situation in the future, is that that might be a reference to something? I don't think it is. Thank you for posing like that, Zeke, especially with the Poppy Buster hammer on your back. I don't know. Well, that should be it. At least I think so. This loading screen could tell me something completely different. Um, I guess it just completely got rid of the little Igna fort here. But, we got three Prion trips. Chips. Trips. Chip. Prion chips. A diamond and a flat. The fast blade switch five. I cannot speak. But, with that, I think... We have level five of Telus' affinity My chart. Power. Which is actually surprisingly grindy. Except that one's not very grindy. That one's not very grindy. Those aren't... Those... Are... Now you're just making me look bad. That one's kind of grindy. This one's kind of grindy. All these use the special ones are kind of grindy. 50 chain attacks is also kind of grindy. But that's besides the point. Because I was just here to show off the quest. And I did. So, until next time, this is Luxon. Signing off.